I'm Matthew Whitrock, and I've been a game designer on TFT since its inception. My job is to design the mechanics, champions, and traits for upcoming sets. And today, I'm here to talk about our next set, which goes live in just a few weeks with patch 12.11. And then I'll also be giving an update on Double. So let's get into it. Dragonlands brings you to a world of fantastical magic, ancient dragons, and TFT galore. Whether you're looking to hone your craft with the guild or succumb to the fury of the rage wing, Dragonlands has something for you. When we landed on Dragonlands as our set theme, we were excited to create a roster inspired by all sorts of high fantasy stories involving dragons. League of Legends has a few dragon thematics, which fit right into this set. Then, we looked at the roster of champions to grab a couple of actual dragons. We had so many to choose from, like Aurelian Soul, and Shivana, and actually, that's kind of it. We needed more dragons in the dragon set. So, we made our own dragons to serve as one of Dragonland's main set mechanics. To do this, we decided to repurpose League's dragon and dragon-ish models to fit into one of the seven realms of the Dragonlands. If you play League of Legends, it may feel a bit odd to see some of our new dragons at first, but they've allowed us to introduce our most powerful roster from a single trait. Or should I say anti-trait? You guessed it, it's dragons. The seven realms across the Dragonlands harbor ancient dragons, units more powerful than anything that's ever hit the Convergence. Dragon units require two team slots, but they gain triple the trait bonus from their origin, alongside a bunch of health. The trait is only active when you have exactly one dragon unit, but there may be ways to augment this in the future. And because they are so powerful, they each have a unique gold cost that's higher than other units of their same rarity. All these rules allow us to keep these ancient dragons more powerful than your typical units. You know, units that don't rain down lightning, breathe fire, or control the stars. Oh, there's one more ancient dragon that isn't one of the seven dragons in the dragon trade, except they aren't a playable unit at all. That's the treasure dragon event. Uh, we're still working on the name. Replacing the raptor's encounter, the Treasure Dragon event gives you a final opportunity to try and finish your comp. Maybe an item component, some extra gold to finally two-star your dragon, or perhaps other more rare rewards. When it appears, each player is offered their own pile of treasure. Then you have two choices. Either take everything you're being offered, or refresh your selection for one gold. The challenge is that your selection is all or nothing. If you want some of the content, you've got to take it all, or refresh for an entirely new offering. But at least it's always free. If you played Gizmos and Gadgets, you were more likely to keep playing it than any other set to date. Much of the reason behind this is the game-to-game -game variants that Augments create. So, with our next set, Augments are back. But instead of a hex core, you'll each have a Dragon Shrine. We're also updating the Augment Arsenal to be better balanced and available at better times for when they are useful. We're also dragonizing Augments with new trait-specific choices for the new set, as well as new Augments that'll work regardless of what comp you're running. For example, there's Bloodlust, which permanently gives your units two attack damage for every unit they kill. And then there's Think Fast, one of our more hectic Augments. It gives you free shop refreshes until the end of the round, so you better roll fast. Okay, that's all I have to share on Dragonlands for now, but keep an eye to the skies for more information as we get closer to launch. It's been a while since we checked in on Double Up, so we've got a couple of updates to go over. First, we're now pursuing an incremental approach to improving Double Up rather than a no longer in beta release. We're doing this in part because of Double Up's huge success. Tons of you have been pairing up in the only version of TFT that guarantees you top fours. We want to keep Double Up going strong, so when we have an improvement to ship, we want to get it into your hands as soon as possible, instead of waiting for an official big release moment to drop all the updates. 
You can expect to see more updates as we release our next set and beyond, with most coming closer to our Dragonlands mid-set. So what will these updates look like? In addition to various interface buffs like team chat, pre-made lobbies, etc., we want to focus on gameplay improvements that will shake up the meta and add more team play. For example, double up specific augments and more engaging assist armory offerings. We're also going to put out a major upgrade to Ranked by bringing it in line with standard TFT queues. We'll share more updates for Double Up as they are ready to ship, so stay tuned for future announcements. Okay, that's it for me. Now here's Winston with some cosmetic updates. Hello, Tacticians. My name's Winston Baker, and I'm a producer for cosmetics on TFT. Hello! As Whitrock mentioned, our next set is Dragonlands, and it wouldn't be complete without new ways to fly into the fray. Joining the illustrious ranks of Dragon Little Legends are Burno, who still manages to be a grump after a full day in the Lava Spa, and Poggles, who is made up of over 86% cranium. But don't let that fool you, there's nothing going on behind those eyes. We've also got a new mythic, Chonk the Wise, professor of dragons, distinguished drumming, and drama. We're also updating our pass rewards for Dragonlands. Many of you have loved the Toxitorium, the Tier 3 Arena in Neon Knights, so we're including a Tier 3 Arena in the Dragonlands Pass. And during the Gifts of the Golden Lantern event, we released our first mythic tier arena, Golden Tiger Market. It had intro ceremonies, dynamic board elements, and changes as the game progresses. Dragonlands will feature our second Mythic tier arena, and while it will have the features you'd expect from a Mythic, like intro ceremonies and dynamic board elements, we will be changing how we distribute it. The Sanctuary of the Ancient Arena will not be tied to a bundle, but rather, just like our other Mythic content, it will be a rare unlock from an egg or something similar. In the future, you can expect continued experimentation with how we deliver TFT cosmetics. There's also a new chibi champion making his way from your solo queue games to the Convergence. And how exactly did he get to TFT? Well, we heard he, uh, has a key. On top of that, there's also chibi Dragonmancer Yasuo for you to slash your foes down in style. Oh, and for you Yasuo mains in League, don't worry. This chibi Yasuo comes equipped with Mastery 7 by default. As each set and event comes out, we create more ways to personalize your board, tacticians, and more. We're also creating new ways to earn and purchase this new content. One new way is through a project we call Treasure Troves, your one-stop shop for chase content. Treasure Troves will also be our way of bringing back vaulted or retired TFT content, such as booms from yester sets past. We'll have more details on Treasure Troves when they're closer to arrival. Finally, TFT is turning three at the end of June, and my heart's fluttering just thinking about it. But that could also be from the anniversary Flutterbug, which will be free for anyone who plays during our celebration. Around then, we'll also be distributing another free little legend for players who made it to gold or higher during either half of Gizmos and Gadgets. Victorious Talker is the essence of progress, with a love of literature and adorable laser eyes. And if you made it to gold or higher during both halves of the set, good job. You'll also be getting Talker's triumphant counterpart, so don't wait too long to hit your ranked goals, cause, uh, time's a talkin'. And with that, I'll throw it back to Whitrock. Over the last three years, TFT has grown from a 10-person team working in a secret corner of the office to multiple teams working on life balance, upcoming set design, and thematics multiple sets out, plus the teams on Double Up, Cosmetics, and our third anniversary celebration. And that's not even everyone. We've come so far, and it's only because you've stuck with us throughout this amazing journey. As one of the original members of TFT's development team, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to share this game with you. Since our game's start, you've collectively played almost 1.5 billion hours of TFT, and that blows us away. We have so much coming to TFT on the horizon, so stay tuned throughout the rest of Gizmos and Gadgets into Dragonlands and beyond. Thanks again, and we'll see you on The Convergence.